children are not miniature adults. The person who is treating the children requires a special training and a skill. Hi, I am Dr. Anil Kumar PL, Head of the Department Pediatric Surgery at Sakra World Hospital, Bangalore. We, the Indian Association of Pediatric Surgeons, celebrate 29th December as a Pediatric Surgery Day. Being a Pediatric Surgeon, it is my duty and the responsibility to educate and create an awareness among the public about the surgical disease and the person who can treat the surgical disease and why. Children do get a disease, the two surgical diseases. There are an acquired condition like a pain abdomen secondary to appendicitis or there may be a cut, there may be a swelling. These are all one time treatment. But our niche area of interest is at the newborn period where the child is born with a structural abnormality. It can be many diseases from the head to toe. Just to say a few examples, the baby born with the underdeveloped esophagus, that is a foot pipe and the connection between the foot pipe and the wind pipe or it could be a diaphragmatic hernia or the intestine tubes are not tabularized, they are called intestinal atresias. The baby born with absent anal opening, there may be structures may be correct but the function of the intestine may not be correct. The disease called Ashpung's disease. Similar to the intestine, there are problem in the renal system. The urine flow from the kidney to the ureter may be obstructed, the condition called pelvic junction obstruction. The urine outflow from the bladder outlet may be obstructed, there is a condition called posterior retinal wall diseases. These diseases require immediate attention after the birth. Some diseases have a one-time treatment, but many diseases require the follow-up. Mm -hmm.